Alright guys, so in the last tutorial what I did is I showed you guys how to use styles. Now a style was pretty much a reusable design that you could apply to individual widgets. <coughs> oh, tastes like spaghettios. Anyways, so uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use a theme. Now a theme is pretty much a style that you can apply to either an entire activity or your entire application. So if you just want to apply overall style to again this entire activity or every single activity in your entire app, um, I'll show you guys how to do that really easily. But the first thing I want to do is this. Just so we're pretty much starting from scratch and I don't con confuse you guys. Let's go ahead and delete all of these styles. So pretty much we're back to bare bones. Just like that. And might as well just go ahead and delete everything in this ocean.xml. Alright, so now we're pretty much back to basics. We can go ahead and start learning how to use themes. So the first thing we need to do is actually create a theme. Now I know that this is named ocean.xml, but say that we were making, I don't know, maybe we were making an app for some like environmental company and they wanted every single background on every single activity to be green. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the first thing that we need is a color resource. So color and the name of this is, I'll just name it like uh, Bucky's BG color. Eh, good enough. Now a cool green I like is 009900. So now we have a color that we can use in our theme. And by the way, I typically like to name things like background color or text color because if you're ever making an app and if you just name this something like green and then your boss is like you know what let's change the background to red well then it's gonna say green everywhere and it's kinda of silly so instead if you have something like Bucky's BG color you can change this to any one you want and it'll make sense so I don't know if that makes sense but it's better not to like name your colors green or blue or yellow or anything like that so another thing is this. In order to make that overall theme, it's really similar to a style. So you make a style, you give it a name like Bucky's theme. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to inherit from Android and I'll just choose like theme light. Now the reason I want to do this is because remember, this gives us a bunch of default styling that's already on our device and the reason that I want to do that is because right now we're only changing the background color and I don't feel like styling every single widget individually so that's why I'm gonna say okay we're just gonna grab all this crap by default just use that theme and we're just gonna override whatever we need to so it makes it really easy especially whenever I'm trying to teach it so of course anytime we want to change a style we just use the item name and the access the background color of your activity it's actually Android window background so now from here we just throw in a color and that is at color Bucky's BG color so again any activity or any app that has Bucky's theme is gonna have a green background so now let's go ahead, now that we created a theme, let's learn how to apply it. So in order to apply an overall theme, what you need to do is you need to hop up to Android Manifest. Now if you look in your manifest, this is where pretty much your entire app is managed. And by default, it already has a theme right here. Now if we just change Bucky's theme, instead of the default app theme, then what this is going to do is it's going to apply that green background to every single activity, every single screen in your app. If we only wanted to apply that green background to an individual activity, then we would stick it in here within your activity. So that's the difference whenever you apply a property in here, it just changes one screen. Whenever you apply it right here, it's going to change every single activity or every single screen within your app. Now let me just fix this because it's annoying me. Control Alt L Enter. Alright. Now if you hop back over to Activity Main, hmm. I really thought that would change because okay, let me make sure. We created the theme, everything looks good. 
in the manifest, yep, it says that this project is indeed using Bucky's theme, so what the heck? Well, the reason that it isn't displaying is your little preview because whenever you're just using this little design tool, what you can do is you can actually select your themes just to see how it looks on different devices, but in order to see how it would really look on a device, then what you do is go to App Theme and go to Manifest Themes. And again, we only have Bucky's theme right there, but if you select OK, then this is, of course, what it's actually going to look like. Of course, you can choose other ones to say, hmm, I wonder how it would, how it would look if I used Hollow Light. And uh, I don't know, I wonder how it would look if I used Material Dark. So, you know, this is just for testing out, but what your app's really going to look like is whatever the manifest is telling it to look like. So there you go, and check it out. So again, to recap one more time, anytime you want to use a theme, just go ahead and create your theme in the XML file, specify where you want to use that theme in your manifest, and make sure in your little design tool that you actually are saying, okay, use the manifest theme instead of anything else that I want to test out. So there you go. Um, there's the real basics of it. Thank you guys for watching, and well, I'm probably going to go eat some macaroni and cheese or something, so I'll see you guys later.